would do this reading out of the book of Jeremiah 8. <clears throat> Jeremiah 8. I would say 8 for sin and judgment. Moreover, you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, Do men fall and not arise? Do they turn away and not repent? Why then is this people of Jerusalem turned away by a perpetual backsliding? They hold fast to the seat. They refuse to return. I listened and heard, but they did not speak what is right. No man repented of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Everyone turned to his course as a horse rushes into the battle. Indeed, the stork in the sky knows her appointed times. And the turtle dove and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people do not know the judgment of the Lord. How do you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Certainly the lying pen of the scribes has made it into a lie. The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and caught. Indeed, they have rejected the word of the Lord. And what kind of wisdom do they have? Therefore, I will give their wives to others, their fields to those who shall inherit them. For everyone, from the least even to the greatest, is given to covetousness. From the prophet, even to the priest, everyone deals falsely. For they have healed the brokenness of the daughter of my people superficially, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? They were not all ashamed, nor could they blush. Therefore they will fall among those who fall. In the time of their punishment they will be cast down, says the Lord. I will surely consume them, says the Lord. There will be no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, and the leaf shall fade. The things that I have given away will pass away from them. Why do we still sit, or why do we sit still? Assemble yourselves and let us enter the fortified cities and let us perish there. For the Lord our God has doomed us and given us water of gall to drink. Because we have sinned against the Lord, we looked for peace, but no good came. And for a time of health, but there was trouble. The snoring of his horses was heard from Dan. The whole land trem trembled at the sound of the neighing of the strong ones. They have come and have devoured the land and all that is in it, the city, those who dwell in it. See how will send serpents against you, adders which will not be charmed, and they will bite you, declares the Lord. Jeremiah, the prophet, mourns for his people. My sorrow is beyond healing. My heart is faint within me. Listen, the cry of the daughter of my people from a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images, with foreign vanities? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the brokenness of the daughter of my people am I broken. I mourn, dismay has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then has not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Failures of Judah. These are the people that have no shame. They have not repented. They don't even feel sorry for sinning against the Most High. But Jeremiah is mourning for his people because judgment has come upon them. Failures of Judah. Oh, that my head were waters and my eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place of wayfaring men, that I might leave my people and go from them. For they are all adulterers. An assembly of treacherous men, they bend their tongues like their bow. Lies and not truth prevail upon the land. They proceed from evil to evil. They do not know me, says the Lord. 
Let everyone be on guard against his neighbor and do not trust in any brother, for every brother supplants. And every neighbor walks about with slanders. Everyone deceives his neighbor and does not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies. They weary themselves in committing iniquity. Your habitation is in the midst of deceit. Your deceit, they refuse to know me, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, now I will refine them and assay, assay them. But what else shall I do for the daughter of my people? Their tongue is a deadly arrow. It speaks to see. One speaks peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth. But in his heart, he lies in wait. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? For the mountains I will take up a weeping and wailing. For the habitations of the wilderness, a lamentation, because they burned up, so that no one can pass through them. Nor can men hear the lowing of the cattle, both the fowl of the heavens and the beasts have fled. They are gone. I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins and a deck of jackals, and I will make the cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. Who is the wise man? Who may understand this, and who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord has spoken, that he may declare it? Why is the land ruined and burned up like a wilderness, so that no one passes through? For the Lord said, Because they have forsaken my law, which I set before them, they have not obeyed my voice, nor walked in it, but have walked after the imaginations of their own heart, and after the bales which their fathers taught them. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I will feed them, even this people, with wormwood. Give them water of gall to drink. I will scatter them also among the nations whom neither they nor their fathers have known. I will send a sword after them until I have consumed them. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Consider and call for the mourning women, that they may come and send for wailing women. They may come. Let them make haste and take up a wailing for us, that our eyes may run down with tears and our eyelids gush out with waters. For a voice of wailing is heard out of Zion. How devastated we are. We are greatly humiliated because we have forsaken the land, because our dwellings have cast us out. Yet hear the word of the Lord, O you women. Let your ear receive the word of his mouth. Teach your daughters wailing. Everyone her neighbor, a lamentation, for death has come up into our windows and has entered our palaces. It's cut off the children from the streets and the young men from the squares. Speak, thus says the Lord, the carcasses of men shall fall as dung upon the open field as a sheep after the harvest and harvester. No one shall gather them, thus says the Lord. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, and let not the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him who glories glory in this, that he might, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who exercises loving kindness, justice, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, that I will punish all who are circumcised and yet uncircumcised. Egypt, Judah, Edom, the children of Ammon, Moab, and all who dwell in the wilderness who clip the hair on their temples. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised of heart.